Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back here tonight with another requested reading, and this request is going to be a reading between Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling. So that's what I'm here to bring you tonight. I have all the cards shuffled out, so I'm going to lay everything out here. And remember, if you have any other requests or any other things that you'd like me to read on, please leave me a comment below the video, and I will put it on the list, and I will get that out for you as soon as I can. And I thank you for that. And also, if you are interested in your own personal reading from me, you can check out my description box below the video, $5. And I also make it fun, and I add five free pendulum questions, and then I pull a couple oracle cards for you as well. So I try to make it worth the $5. So if that's something you're interested in, please send me an email. You can check out my Instagram, Ghost Princess, for some of my testimonies for people I have read for before. Actually, I tend to do better off camera with readings, which is kind of crazy, but I swear it's true. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into this. Let me get everything laid out here. It's a little sloppy, but that's okay. It all works the same. So yeah, Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling. The only thing I really know about them, they played in The Notebook together years ago. Years and years ago. So, we'll see what comes up, okay? I'll do the best I can. First thing I'll do is we'll just pull one energetically for Ryan on this side, and we'll pull, pull one over here for Rachel on this side, okay? So, we'll just do one. So, I'm going to do this one. We'll do this one for her. Okay, so for him, we have the hangman. This talks about new perspective, self-surrender, liberation, absolution, independence, contemplation, spiritual development, a sacrifice for a higher cause. Okay, so that's the energy surrounding him right now. And then for Rachel, the Ten of Wands in reverse. And this talks about, you know, releasing, having too much responsibility, breakdown, lacking the will to go on, downfall, procrastination. So let's see what comes up between these two within this reading. Hopefully something. <laughs> so give me a second here. I'm just looking to see. Okay, I see one here. Let's start off with five. One. Two, three, four, Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, Page of Swords in reverse, Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, sorry, I had to count, <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. So these two cards are really good. You know, it talks about long-term success, abundance, hard work. And I definitely think they both have that within them. They have worked very hard to get where they're at. So that's definitely coming up. Next, we have the Six of Swords. This talks about letting go of hatred, moving on, leaving behind, relief, and journeys. So I definitely think, and again, I don't know much about these guys. I'll be honest with you. I really don't know much, but from what I'm feeling, they've definitely kind of walked away from each other. 
Again, I'm not sure if like they're still friends. You'd have to let me know, but I feel like they've just kind of kind of moved on from things. Then we have the Page of Swords here in reverse. It talks about scatterbrain, exhaustion, lack of planning, gossipy, insulting, playing mind games. And then here we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. And this talks about unhealthy relationships, broken family, domestic conflict, separation, broken marriages, disputes, and hopelessness. So I'm going to guess maybe they ended on bad terms. I mean, I don't... Did these guys ever, like, date or anything? I don't... The only thing I know about these two is that they played in the notebook together. That's all I know. I don't know anything else. I don't know if they dated. I don't know if there was some kind of relationship there. But if there was, I don't think it ended too well. Even if it was just, like, a friendship. You know, maybe they were just co-workers. I don't know. I'm not really sure, so it's kind of hard for me to say. But that's what I see. Okay, that's what I see. So let me pull some more here. So let's do this one. Two. Three. Four. So next we have the Page of Wands, Five of Swords, the Magician in Reverse, Knight of Swords in Reverse, and Strength in Reverse. So the Page of Wands here talks about you know, inspiration, exploration, you know, being an extrovert, fresh ideas, eye-opener, cheerfulness, energetic. Trying to figure out where to place this because a lot of the cards I'm seeing, especially here, as you can see, it's not good. It's like manipulative, um, conflict, battles, insecurity, missed opportunities, rudeness, abuse, so I'm not really sure where to put this one in. So if any of y'all know possibly or have any input, please feel free to leave that down below because sometimes it's kind of over my head, you know, depending on what I'm reading. I'm not really sure about this one, but everything else I see is not looking the greatest. So it's kind of where I'm stumped, but... Next here, as you can see, we have the strength in reverse. It talks about being vulnerable, you know, insecurities, low confidence, cowardice, low energy, disbelief, abuse of power. Just not at your best. And then we have the Knight of Swords here. Missed opportunities. Again, unfocused, rude, abuse, arrogant, tactless, self-doubt. Then we have the Magician in Reverse, Trickery, Deception, Illusions, Manipulative, Poor Planning, Wasted Talents. And then we have the Five of Swords, you know, talking about conflict, battles, fights, violence, aggression, competition, hostility, and defeat. So overall between these two, allegedly, if that's the case, looks like they might have some bad blood or something. Like something definitely happened between these two because it shows... Um, Again, I don't really know too much, so it's kind of hard for me to say, but it just doesn't seem like they have the best relationship. It seems very toxic and just, I, I don't know, just not a good fit, I guess, at least from what I'm seeing in the cards. Let me know what you think. I guess I'll pull a few more here. Let's do five more and we'll see what comes up. And then I guess I'll leave it, leave it there. So let's do this one. Okay. Two. Three, okay, mm, four, Thank you. 
Okay. So the last five I got for Ryan and Rachel. First one we have is the Empress. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse. Queen of Cups. Judgment in reverse. So I'm going to guess that these might possibly be her. Might be Rachel because they are, you know, feminine energies. Again, it doesn't always mean that. You know, males can come up as that too. But it's just kind of what I'm feeling. But... With the Empress here, it talks about divine, fem divine feminine, fertility, parents. I'm guessing she might be a parent. Is she a parent? I mean, I'm not sure if it's like with him, right? Again, I don't know if these guys dated or what. You would have to tell me. I don't know. So I can't really say. Or this could just be just coming up surrounding her, but that's what it is. Nurturing, creativity, and then the Queen of Cups. Again, femininity, compassion, kindness, empathic, supportive. Was Ryan just a dick? <laughs> like, just out of curiosity. Was he just, like, is he just, like, a dick kind of person? Again, I don't know anything about the guy. I've only, like, heard of his name. Is he just, like, an asshole type person? Or... And I don't mean any disrespect when I say that. I just wonder, like, is he a nice guy or is he, like, just some arrogant person I do wonder okay next here we have the eight of pentacles in reverse this talks about lack of quality low skills lack of motivation lacking ambition bad reputation misdirected activity and then the high priestess here secrets lack of self-trust somebody didn't or somebody definitely didn't trust the other one. I don't know if it was like she didn't trust him, he didn't trust her. There's definitely no trust and there were secrets. It's interesting. I don't know, they definitely, there's definitely something between them. Whatever it is, it doesn't look the greatest. I'll say that much. And then we have a judgment in reverse, and this talks about guilt, guilt, my can talk, guilt, <laughs> guilt, self-hate, inner critic, inability to face facts, feeling down, and indecision. <sighs> but that's what I got. Um, I hope this reading helped. I apologize. It wasn't as, like, in-depth as some of my other ones, but I just, I don't know. Um, it seems like something definitely happened between these two. But again, it's hard for me to know, too, because I don't really know much about these guys. You know what I mean? So maybe you see something that I don't see. Definitely let me know. But I did the best I could. I hope this helps a little bit. Again, I do apologize. I did the best I could. But that's what I got. I hope you enjoyed. Um, again, any other requests, any comments, leave below. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.